graduate of the Charlie Sheen School of Social Media. Hello friends, good evening. This is, uh, I don't know, March 24th, 2011. Let's get straight to it. This is a Real American News Show, ready to give you the news that matters to you. All right, okay, let's get straight to it. First up on the list, we have the voter ID bill that has been passed from the Texas legislature, which essentially requires for voters to show proof of ID uh, when uh, voting. So a lot of people are sort of on both sides of the issue, you know. For one, uh, people say that this is discriminatory towards minorities or, you know, to poor people because they may not have IDs and such. And then on the other side, you have people saying, well, you know, you have to have an ID for cigarettes or porn and, and stuff like that. So, you know, we ought to uh, have this to vote, which, you know, is kind of an important thing that, that happens, you know. So, I mean, my feeling on the issue is I can see where uh, people say that this could be discriminatory or racist, um, but at the same time, I do think it's important. I mean, here I am a registered voter, and I would hate to see some, you know, someone who is not supposed to be voting cast a vote and sort of sway an election, which, you know, could, could bother me. So I think, I mean, it would make sense to at least have a system or some sort of subsidy where a program where people could actually have their um, IDs given to them for free, you know, so that you don't have this issue with poor people or uh, others that who may or elderly who may not have access being able to uh, get access for this. So since this is my show, I can do whatever I want, including have a nice glass of wine and make wine noises through my glass. All right, next up on the agenda, I'm going to talk a, a really quick about this place in Dallas. It's called King Spa. I mean, I just found out about it about a month ago, but I really, really enjoy this place. This place is like a shrine to doing nothing. It's really cool. Essentially, it's a Korean day spa. It's open 24 hours, which you do is you pay an admission. It's $20, and then immediately when you come in, if you, you remove your shoes, if you're a guy, you go into the back of the changing room, put up your shoes in a locker, and they give you a little uh, wrist ID with a number that can be charged, you know, f to the things that you do in there can be charged uh, to that number, so it keeps a record of your account. So you put your shoes up, and then immediately in the back of the changing room, there is uh, like three or four different pools, like at different temperatures, like, you know, hot tubs. They're not hot tubs. Essentially, there's big giant pools that are like 106, 108 degrees. You know, but first, before you go in there, you have to shower. So um, it's separated by gender. So the same thing happens with the girls, and the girls get a uniform, and they can change into for later if they want to. But it's it's kind of if you know the most Americans tend to be very prudish about their bodies, and so um, since it is uh, these pools. Uh, most people are naked and it's also a family place so you will see like old men young guys boys kids even and they're uh, in the nude if they're back there in the pools and they're just kind of sitting with their parents or and whatever you know and um, you know it's people who may not be used to that could kind of freak out but I mean you know it's it's very clean it's really uh, you know, they make you shower before you get in the pools. Um, you know, they have a steam room, they have a sauna. It's just a really nice place to relax, you know. I guess if you were of a, uh, let's say, same-sex same attraction persuasion, you could sort of find yourself in very easy type of situations, but that is definitely not, not the thing about it at all, you know. So once you're, you know, spent your time in there, you can go out into the main area and there's like, nine or ten different sort of rooms that that have or the various temperatures with various salts and and, and various sorts of um, like infusions into the air that you just sit and breathe and you can just meditate and relax they have the cold room rooms that are you know 180 degrees you just sit in there I mean you can barely last in that it's just it's really relaxing it's a really cool place maybe I'm not even doing it justice it's King Spa it's here in Dallas they have one in Chicago you know, 
that twenty dollars is good for twenty four hours they have uh, sorts of traditional Korean foods that you can eat there on premise they have giant projectors that show the news people are you know sitting in these big giant recliners and just can relax it's really fun also uh, they have a, a TV room where they play movies and, and such and again there's like these big recliners and people just sit and I mean I see white families black families Asian families Mexicans couples singles you know just the mix and it's a really cool place and I would suggest you know that uh, people give it a shot you know you can check it out at kingspa.com I highly recommend it you know I would uh, myself I have no problem you know being open I'm not ashamed of my body you know some people say I probably should be but whatever you know it's a really cool place you don't have to be naked if you don't want to you know some people are and it's uh, just it's really relaxing so uh, that's sort of my take on the Dallas life just thought I would show that you know uh, talk to you guys about that as well so I'm gonna finish up on a show that my wife and I really like it's called Bob's Burgers it shows on Fox on Sundays and we just really really enjoy this show we think it's really really funny it's, it's just very quirky you know it has really just goofy goofy humor it's not like Family Guy which you know lately it's just really gone crass or just so way out there that it's just not really that funny anymore you know uh, it's, it's it's, just, it's it's a really nice show and I hope you guys will just give it a chance you know uh, make time to watch it if you can and just uh, let me know what you think so I have an interview here of, of a fan of the show so let's kind of see what what she thought so I'm gonna play that up for you right now hello please state your name Valerie okay so tell us why you like the show Bob's Burgers because of Lois what about her I think she's hilarious. Why? It's the way she acts and her bunny ears. I see. So you think it's a pretty good show? Yes. Do you think uh, a lot of people know about it? No. Why not? Because a lot of people don't watch the Sunday animation shows. An animation? Domination. Nice. Sounds like you do. That one. Uh, okay. All right. Well, thank you. I just wanted to get a another perspective on why the show is good. Thanks. All right, so there you go, Bob's Burgers. It's on Fox on Sundays. Really check it out if you guys want to. I really think that you could enjoy it very, very much. So all right, that's my show for tonight. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, you want me to talk about anything. Uh, later on, I want to sort of give you an idea of what I do so that you may have more specific, relevant questions. So, all right, guys. Cheers.